Welcome to the George Brown College Library Learning Commons. This brief tutorial will demonstrate how to properly cite your research sources using the style of the Modern Language Association, commonly referred to as MLA style. Remember, proper citation is how you attribute and document the sources you have used in your academic research. MLA style citation follows the rules of the Modern Language Association of America. This citation style is used mainly in the arts and humanities. The rules for MLA citation can be found in the MLA Handbook for Writers of Research Papers, 7th edition. This resource is available in the George Brown College Library Learning Commons. Citing sources using MLA style requires both in-text citations and a works cited list. In-text citations appear within the body of your work and point readers to the complete citations at the end of your paper. The works cited list appears at the end of your paper and provides a listing of the complete citations for all of your references. In-text citations are brief references that give credit to the works of others they should be included in the body of your essay at the point where you make use of the reference. MLA style uses the author page method of in-text citations. The information that must be included is the author or author's last names and the relevant page numbers. If the author's name is included in the sentence, the page numbers are written at the end of the sentence in parentheses. For example, according to McWaters and Sheldon, the advice provided on financial planning for college education will dictate the ease and success of the decisions you make along the way. Open parentheses, 22, close parentheses. If the author's name is not included in the sentence, the name and page numbers are written at the end of the sentence in parentheses. For example, the advice provided on financial planning for college education will dictate the ease and success of the decisions you make along the way. Open parentheses, McWaters and Sheldon, 22, close parentheses. Some guidelines to use when formatting your in-text citations. If you don't know the author of a work, you may use a shortened version of the title to identify it. Do not use articles like a, an, or the in the in-text citation. Book titles should be italicized, and article titles contained within quotation marks. Capitalize all titles in your in-text citations. For sources with more than three authors, either list all of the author's last names, or list only the first author's last name, followed by et al, period. If you cite more than one work by an author, include a shortened title for the work you are citing to distinguish it from the others. A work cited page lists the full publication details of each of the items cited in your paper. You must provide enough information to allow your readers to find your resources. All sources that are cited in your text must be listed on the work cited page. The works cited page must begin on a new page at the end of your text. The title, Works Cited, is centered at the top of the page. Entries are double-spaced, and the second and all following lines of each entry must be indented five spaces in what is called a hanging indent. Entries are listed alphabetically by the author's last name, or by the title if there is no author information available. If listing a work by the title, Ignore any words such as a, an, or the at the beginning of the title. If the work cited list includes two or more entries by the same author or authors, list them in chronological order starting with the oldest. Titles of complete works such as books and journals are italicized and in title case, meaning all important first letters are capitalized. Titles of articles, parts of works such as book chapters, and pages from websites are enclosed in quotation marks and in title case. Each entry must include the publication medium such as print, web, television, and so on. To determine how to cite a source on your works cited page, first determine what type of resource it is. There are different rules for the citations of different types of resources.
When citing print versions of books, you must include the following. The full names of the authors. For the first author listed, write the last name first, followed by a comma, and then the first name. For all subsequent authors, the first name is written first, followed by the last name. The author's names should be followed by a period. The title of the book in title case. This should be written in italics and followed by a period. The place the book was published, followed by a colon. The name of the publisher, followed by a comma. The year the book was published, followed by a period. And the medium of the resource. In this case, a book falls under print media. This is followed by a period. When citing print versions of scholarly journals, you must include the following. The full names of the authors, followed by a period. The title of the article, in title case. This should be enclosed in quotation marks and followed by a period. The title of the journal, in title case. This should be in italics. The volume number of the journal the article appears in, followed by a period. The issue number of the journal the article appears in. Please note, you should not put a space between the period following the volume number and the issue number. The year and, if given, the time period when the journal article was published. This should be closed in parentheses and followed by a colon. The page range of the article, followed by a period. And the medium of the resource. In this case, the scholarly journal falls under print media. This is followed by a period. When citing the electronic version of an article in a scholarly journal accessed using a library database, you begin exactly like you would when citing the print version, then add the electronic publication information. The citation must include the following. The full names of the authors, followed by a period. The title of the article in title case. This should be enclosed in quotation marks and followed by a period. The title of the journal, in title case, this should be in italics. The volume number of the journal the article appears in, followed by a period. The issue number of the journal the article appears in. Please note you should not put a space between the period following the volume number and the issue number. The year, and if given the time period when the journal article was published. This should be enclosed in parentheses and followed by a colon. The page range of the article followed by a period. The name of the electronic database you use to access the article in italics and title case, followed by a period. The medium of the resource. In this case, the electronic version of a scholarly journal falls under web. This is followed by a period. And the date you access the resource, in the form day, month, period, year, followed by a period. When citing a page from a website, you must include the following. The names of the authors of the website, if available, followed by a period. If the author's name is not available, begin with the title of the article or web page in title case. This should be enclosed in quotation marks and followed by a period. The title of the website, in italics, followed by a period. The editor or sponsoring organization responsible for the website, if available, followed by a comma. If this information is not available, use the abbreviation N period P period to indicate that neither a publisher nor a sponsor name has been provided. The publication date or date updated, if available, followed by a period. If this information is not available, use the abbreviation N period D period to indicate the web page does not provide a publication date. The medium of the resource, in this case, web. This is followed by a period. The date you access the resource, in the form day, month, period, year, followed by a period. Optionally, you can also include the URL of the website. This should be enclosed in angle brackets and followed by a period. You only need to include the URL if your audience is unlikely to find the resource or if your instructor requires it. Remember to keep track of all the information you will need for your citations as you do your research. It can be surprisingly time-consuming to try to find it later. When in doubt, refer to the MLA Handbook available at the library. Further information can be found on the MLA Citation Guide 
on the library website at researchguides.georgiabrown.ca slash citing sources. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you do not find what you're looking for, please ask. The library staff is always ready to help.